going on everybody? Santa Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farms of Dillsweb. Today, new mods continue to release even after Giant Say nothing till January 11th. It's the next to last day of the Farming Simulator Advent Calendar giveaway. A2 Studio has new screenshots of the TLX 9000. Connect Mining have the fact sheet for the four-wheeler. CNH Mining has a YouTube channel. Agritono shows off the new Case IH Combine. JA Mining teases another Challenger? Tractor? Cliff? Klossmon? Thing? Black Sheep Modding have a new screenshot of their John Deere 6x4. Adep Modding releases the updated slot counts for Joskin Pack. FSH Modding have some new screenshots of their Suncut Pack. Ida Mod teases Map Italia, plus Oxygen David's got some mud on it. Let's check it out. So much for no new mods being tested or released until January 11th. Well, for the past three days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, December 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, we've gotten new mods for all platforms or PC, Mac, console only. Everybody's getting some love this week i've already made today's video if you want to check that out find that linked in the description below I already made a video of yesterday's mods while i was on vacation i'm even supposed to be making videos right now i'm supposed to be at home right now regardless hey we got stuff to do so let's make some videos we've also got only one more day for the farming simulator advent calendar giveaway they're doing 24 of them and today is giveaway number 23 in today's giveaway you can win the farming simulator 19 premium edition box set for PC, PlayStation, or Xbox. Note, it is limited to English or German language, so that's going to be depending on what is going to be on the front of it. You'll also be getting some keychains, as it looks to be shown here as well. There are nine ways to enter today. You can either put in what platform you play on, what language you have, English or German. You can join the Farming Simulator Discord, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, both of their Twitch accounts, and visit their homepage. Also, don't forget over the holiday season that Farming Simulator are hosting the video contest. They're doing the Alpine Farming Video Contest. They say submit your video and win an NVIDIA RTX 3080. You could send it my way. PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X. They say owners of the Alpine Farming Expansion and aspiring filmmakers should get their video editing software started. They're doing another video contest with holiday season right here. They give you more than enough time, not with all the mods they're releasing, to produce a creative video with the latest expansion for Farm Sim 19. This video contest will end on January 10th, 2021, so you've got another few weeks to get this together. And I'll leave a link down in the description below. You can check out all of the video entry uh, information and rules to see if this is going to be great for you. A2 Studio says TLX 9000 Rigid Dumper Module coming soon. As you can see right here, we have the Rigid Dumper Module that he's got for the back of the TLX 9000. Now, this is a module, so this is not going to be attached like a IT runner or something like this. Simply back up and attach to it. But it's not only this. But he also says TLX 9000 Rigid Rollback Module coming soon as well. This is going to be something that you can move your vehicles or maybe you've got some other stuff from point A to point B. This is not a tow truck, but it's as close to a tow truck as you're going to get, at least on console. So for all platforms, this is more than welcome. While I was away on vacation yesterday, Connect Modding dropped two big fact sheets for us. The first of which is for their Lizard Quad. This is going to cost $23,000. We'll go 120 kilometers mile or kilometers per hour. I don't even know how many miles per hour that is. We'll figure it out. And we'll have 46 horsepower. You're going to have multiple configurations and customizations all across the mod. We will be talking about this mod more on Christmas Day. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And secondly, they show us their combo speed mix from Lizard as well. This is going to hold 20,000 liters and you'll be able to change up the color. CNH Monic says things are coming along very nicely with his Plager Outlaw, aka the Cummins. Oh yeah, he says stay progress is being made. More to come soon. If you want to check out the sounds that are being made by this tractor, I can't, or the truck rather, I can't show these on this video. So what I want you to do, check them out in the links below. I've got two of them, CNH Monic, that's gonna, or CNH, take you to his Facebook, CNHYT, oh yeah. It's going to take us to his new YouTube channel. Check him out. Agritoner says, this thing is red. They've got their Case IH 7150 already in the game. It's going to have several options, but not yet present on the mod. They're going to be working on that. Usually the way modders will do things is they'll take their mod, get the mod together, and then start working on the different features and uh, sets, that type of thing. So you can see right here, 
beautiful, beautiful combine. I love these. In case I H7000 series, come on, let's go. JA modding a little cryptic day says, look how funny that a module from the Gloss Challenger is making suddenly sees that both models have a cat engine. He <laughs> he says, we will have two models in one. So let's go. Black Sheep Modding drop a little teaser for us. They say, update coming soon. As you know, we should be getting an update to the Gator sometime in the future. <laughs> might be tomorrow, might be in a month. We don't know. And we're going to be getting the Gator 6x4 snowpack with this as well. It's going to be coming with a few things, including salt spreader and a plow for the front of the Gator. Very excited about this. Unfortunately, there's no other information at the time of recording. Ada Modding has some new slot counts on his Joss back. He says it's all done now with the new spec maps and UDIM and should be submitting this to Giants soon. The Joskin Wago 1 is going to have a slot count of 11. The Wago 2, slot count of 11. And the Wago 3 will have a slot count of 13. Please note that these are estimated slot counts generated by the Giants tool for modders. These do not necessarily represent the slots in-game, though they are a good rough guide. The slots also reduce during development as the pack is optimized. Corrections as of the 19th of December, 2020. So. These were released a couple days ago. FSH Modding shows a few more pictures from their Suncut pack. Today, we get three new screenshots for you. The first of which is on the Dominator uh, from the Kloss. We get to see with a Suncut on the front of that. We also get to see it on the front of the Fortress. Now, this isn't too crazy. You may see this say, okay, yeah, sure, I see it. But what I see is a color option. Very rarely do we have Fortress color options. So the blues, the yellows, the greens, grays, that kind of thing. We don't normally see customization options like that for mods. Great to see that. And naturally, we get to see the big version with the Kloss. Oh, yeah. I love this so much. FSH modding are some of my favorite modders. They've made some great maps, and they made some great mods, and I cannot wait to see the update to the Lizard Suncut pack. Edo Mods has some new screenshots from his next map, Mappa Italia, which has been said that is going to be released only for PC and Mac players. Says he remembers when he was a kid in the summer, he used to go here the beautiful diving and swimming says however you're gonna be refueling your barrels from here very exciting out this is an absolutely beautiful water point dude oh ho, ho. i'm jealous i don't even live here that's awesome and lastly today oxygen david has posted some new pictures on his next map calmsden farm this is absolutely amazing and something very very unique as you can see right here we have a Massey Ferguson in some pretty deep and uh, rough mud right here. Now, I cannot see the tires actually going into the mud. He has posted some videos previously in the past on this map uh, a few months ago showing off new mud textures and things like that. So it is unknown if this is going to be something that will translate over to consoles. Maybe it will just be a different version for PC console or anything like that. There are some unanswered questions with this, but regardless, it's great to see some progress and updates on his next map, Comms Dead Far. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there is no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those other projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. On being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. I'm telling you why, cause Santa Ham is coming to town. Cringy.